It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hey, what's going on, folks? Here we are back at it again with part two to the Paradox Gaming 3.0 update. I know it's taking me a little bit, so I'm so sorry. What's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to go over getting a new ID and other things you can do at the city services building. Also, we will be getting our gun permit from the police station. Well, I, I couldn't. I already got mine, so I will explain how to get it done. Um, also, after that, once you have your permit, you can go down to the ammunition and purchase a gun. So we'll take you down there, too, and show you that as well. And then also, again, uh, I found a couple other spots where you can pick up uh, an extra cell phone and a radio, and that's at the Digital Den. Uh, they're located throughout the city, just like the uh, hardware store. And uh, I noticed uh, my earlier video, I had mentioned that I had lost my car and I couldn't figure out what happened to it. Well, I finally figured out what happens to your car when it disappears. <laughs> and y'all probably figured it out before me. Anyways... So when it disappears and you can't find it on the map, it straight up got sent to an impound. So all you got to do is go down to the impound, and I got a video on that. And we'll, we'll show you that too, and you can get your car. Now, if it just disappeared, it shouldn't cost you a dime. But if you get an impound by, like, saying by the police or anything like that, or doing something dumb with it, uh, then you'll have to pay for it, I'm sure. Anyways, let's get to it here with part two to our videos here. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll get you guys more content when it comes out as we go along. You guys have a great time. Thank you for joining. All right, so here we are in 506. Show you on the map. City services building. And when you're in here, and let's say you lost your ID or it was stolen from you. You want to come up to the right side of the desk here. And with your third eye, you want to highlight, right click, and see you can print new state ID right here for $50. Or you can change your job. Or if you click on employment, you get $25 every time it pays out. So let's do that because I'm not working right now. I'm showing you guys around. And then if you go to the left, this is pretty cool. If you go to the left... You can access public records and then you can type in somebody's information and it'll bring up all their stuff here it's actually very nice so if anybody messes with you and you know their name you can look them up and you can also update your profile a little bit better you know there's an id profile profession all that good stuff be all updated right here which you can do here all right. Okay, folks, so in regards to getting your gun permit, you would have to get a hold of an officer. Sometimes there's somebody here at the police station. Sometimes there's not. You use your uh, Twitter to twat them <laughs> and get a hold of them. Someone should meet you here. If they do show up, uh, they will ask you for your ID. Just let them know you're here to purchase the uh, permit, which is $200 for the gun permit. Uh, you give them your ID, they take down your information, then they ask you to take a picture. I had to stand over here, and they snapped a photo of me. And then the, after they snapped my photo, they told me I had my permit, which was registered in the system. And then you just head on down to ammunition and purchase yourself uh, the guns that are available at that point in time. And that's as simple as that on how to get your gun permit, folks. All right, so I will meet you guys down in ammunition and show you those menus here in just a moment. I will be right back, folks. Okay, folks, how are y'all today? Here we are down in ammunition. Um, one of the locations for ammunition is located at... One second, let me switch views. Located out here at 200. And once you have your gun permit from the police, you can come down here and you can access the menu at the shop here things change up a bit normally if you don't have your permit you can only purchase the knife a bat or the hunting knife but once you have your permit you can pick up 
the two different types of pistols they have to offer, which is the uh, the Sig Sawyer P226 and the SNES or SN SNES. <laughs> I think it is Super Nintendo. Awesome. Uh, SNS pistol. And then it is ten dollars a round. So for the the Sig, it's nine hundred dollars, and then for the SNS pistol, it is seven hundred dollars, and then each round costs you ten dollars a piece. So <clears throat> get pretty pricey, I guess. I did already purchase a gun. If you see here in my inventory, I bought the SNS um, just because I really don't have that much money and I need to get more. And yeah. That's how you do that, folks. So, once you have your permit, come down here, get yourself a gun, protect yourself on the streets of San Andreas. It can be pretty dangerous out there. So definitely have yourself some protection. Be it a blade, be it a bat, be it a gun with some nice bullets. And as soon as I figure out how to purchase those other wonderful guns on the back wall, I'm going to get back to you guys with that information here. I'm going to figure it out. Yes. All right. So, folks, here we are coming up on the digital den here. It is on the corner. They have ATM just outside. The digital den. I'll show you on the map. It looks like a computer screen. They're located at other locations around the map. There's one right here. Police station. I'm going to also... Take a look here. All right, so there you go. Forty-five dollars for a phone right here. Oh, it's cheaper. The other place I think it was fifty dollars, right? And then you can also get a radio here for five hundred. If you're doing like security work or if you're communicating without using your phone with other people, but you come down here to the digital den to access that. So there's that. All right. Oh shit. Weak ass, is it? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. This guy ain't dying though. Okay, folks, so here's another tidbit of information. I was working at the uh, waste management and left my truck there parked. And when I came back to the, the truck depot after my shift, my truck was missing. And here it is right here. So I come to find out I had to come down to 394, which is the, uh, the, the impound lot. And my car got impounded, apparently. Which is right down the street from your apartments. I didn't have to pay any money because it just disappeared. But I just come down here and I retrieved it. So you just come on down here. You go. And I'll go inside and talk to the guy real quick so you guys can see. Once you're here at 394, you want to go inside the main building. Just take off. Once you go into the building and talk to this gentleman, you want to flex that third eye of yours, open up the impound minute, and get your vehicle. See? And once you do that, you're spawned in there and you're good to go and you can leave with your vehicle. Alright folks, so that's going to wrap up our video here for part 2 to the Paradox Gaming 3.0 update. I hope all of my info was very 
uh, helpful to you guys. Uh, again, if you would, if you like the content and you'd like to see some more of it, I do plan on figuring things out like the black market to pick up those weapons, uh, figuring out how to get my hunting license and all that wonderful stuff. I will get back to you guys with a video, hopefully even sooner than last time. I do apologize to that. And you guys have a wonderful night, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush.